Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Touch. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the Chaplaincy of the Homeless and the FSBC in Glendale. This morning, we're going to look back into the Monday Morning Quarterback series. And this time, we're going to go into the New Testament and examine Lot's wife. You know, Jesus once called upon listeners to remember Lot's wife when he was speaking about the coming of the Lord. And he focused on how material people are in their thinking. But what he wanted people to understand is that there are more important things than material things. That is why he said, remember Lot's wife. The fact of the matter is, Lot's wife made a grave error in her assessment of what was important. When Lot and his family was told to leave Sodom and Gomorrah in the book of Genesis. In Genesis 19, when the angels came into the city and they found the city exceedingly evil, the angels told Lot that they needed to leave the city because the Lord was going to destroy it. Lot did not want to leave. They had a lot of possessions. They had a lot of friends. They weren't ready to go. But the angels led them out of the city and said, leave and go into the mountain. Because if you don't, you will be consumed by the fire of the Lord. Lot reasoned with the angels to say, send me to the small city of Zoar. And so the angels said, the Lord said, fine, go to Zoar. But don't look back. This is what I want to focus on. Verse 17 of chapter 19 says this. As soon as the angels got them outside of the city, one of them said, run for your life, number one. Don't look back, number two. And don't stop anywhere in the plain, three. Run to the mountains or you'll be swept away. Now, from this perspective, Lot goes to the small city of Zoar and that was approved but verse 23 is the key they were told run for your lives don't look back and don't stop anywhere the sun rose verse 23 when Lot reached Zoar then out of the sky the Bible says the Lord rained burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord he demolished these cities, the entire plain, all of its inhabitants of the city. Whatever grew on the ground, it was complete, absolute destruction, total annihilation as a result of evil doings, evil hearts, sinful desires. The Lord had had enough. And it was only just Lot and his family that survived. But here is where I want to sit down. Verse 26. But his wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. Lot's wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. As we examine her as the Monday morning quarterback today. Looking back and desiring material goods, looking back and desiring the sinful lifestyles and behaviors of Sodom and Gomorrah, looking back and loathing and wanting to be with friends who were evil and committing sin against God, looking back. I am sure as we sit in her film room, looking back is something that she would not do. The Lord was specific in his directions. Run for your life. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere. You know, oftentimes, as we sit in this film room, we neglect to review the instructions of God for our own lives. God tells us to look forward and look up to him. But we desire to look back into our past, back into our old sins, back to our old friends 
We desire to go back like a dog to vomit. We want to enjoy our past, not realizing that there is a cost for sin. There's a high cost for disobedience. There is a high price to pay for sinning against God. As we sit in Lot's wife's film room, she drew a reminder from Jesus in the New Testament. Remember Lot's wife. We too need to remember Lot's wife and think about how much do we love this world? How much do we love our friends? How much do we love sin? How much do we love disobedience from God? And when we think about how much we love these things, we need to remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt for disobedience and sin against God. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, utterly destroyed and annihilated for sinning against God. The question we ask this morning, is sin really worth it? Is disobedience really worth it? worth it is turning your back on god really worth it ask lot's wife while you're sitting in her film room and remember what jesus said nothing no material no friend no neighbor no wife no husband nothing is worth disobeying and walking against god remember lot's wife today as we sit in her film room and know that the best course of action is always to follow the will of God and to obey the will of God and to do exactly what God says. It's the only way to enjoy true love, peace, joy, happiness throughout all eternity. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the Chaplains for the Homeless and the FSBC in Glendale. We hope that you've been encouraged by today's message. And we hope that you will be reminded the next time you are tempted by Satan, the next time you want to live in nostalgia about your sins or you want to disobey God, remember Lot's wife. God bless you and keep you. We'll see you next time on The Morning Touch.